architecture enthusiasts and design lovers. Today, we're diving into one of the most iconic revolutionary homes ever built, Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water House. A stunning blend of nature, innovation and artistic genius, this architectural masterpiece has captured the imagination of millions since its creation. Picture this, a house that seems to defy gravity, perched dramatically over a rushing waterfall, merging seamlessly with its lush, forested surroundings. That's Falling Water, a home that not only broke the mold of conventional design, but also redefined our relationship with the natural world. So, sit back and get ready to explore the captivating story of this remarkable home. Falling Water is a unique and beautiful house that was built in the 1930s. It's located in Pennsylvania, surrounded by trees and nature, and it's built on top of a waterfall. Frank Lloyd Wright wanted to make a home that would blend in with nature, and he called this idea organic architecture. A man named Edgar Kaufman asked Frank to design the house for his family. Kaufman was a rich businessman who owned a big department store. He loved nature and wanted a special place for his family to relax and enjoy the outdoors. And after the construction was completed, the Kaufman family used it as their weekend retreat, where they would escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. They were not only impressed by the house's beauty, but also by how it connected with nature. The family enjoyed the tranquil atmosphere, the sound of the waterfall, and the chance to spend quality time together in this extraordinary setting. Frank was very creative when he designed this house, and instead of building the house next to the waterfall, he decided to build it directly on top of the falls. The house has many levels and terraces, with lots of windows that look out onto the forest and waterfall. The design uses a lot of natural materials, like stone and wood, which makes the house feel like a part of the landscape. Until today, Falling Water is considered one of the most famous and important buildings in the world. It has inspired many other architects and designers to think about how they can make buildings that fit in with nature. In 1966, Falling Water became a National Historic Landmark, and now many people visit it every year to see this amazing house for themselves. Falling Water is located in the Laurel Highlands of southwestern Pennsylvania, specifically in the Bear Run Natural Reserve, near the town of Mill Run. This picturesque setting, about 70 miles southeast of Pittsburgh, provides the perfect backdrop for this iconic house. The house itself covers an area of about 5,330 square feet, which includes the main living spaces, bedrooms and terraces. This size doesn't include the separate guest house, which is about 1,700 square feet, and connected to the main house by a covered walkway. When the house was built in the 1930s, the original estimated cost of the project was around $35,000. However, due to various challenges and changes during the construction process, the final cost of the house ended up being around $159,000, which includes the $11,000 spent on the architect's fee and the $4,500 for the installed walnut furnishings. To give some perspective, $155,000 is equivalent to around $2.8 million today when adjusted for inflation. Considering the unique location, size and architectural design of Falling Water, it's likely that the cost to build a comparable house today would be several million dollars. However, it's important to remember that Falling Water is more than just a house. It's a symbol of architectural innovation a testament to the genius of Frank Lloyd Wright and an enduring example of the harmonious relationship between architecture and nature. The construction of Falling Water was a challenging and innovative process that showcased Frank Lloyd Wright's architectural genius. One of the most notable aspects of the building's construction was the use of cantilevers, which are horizontal beams that extend outward from a single support. 
creating the impression that the structure is floating. Falling Water's dramatic terraces are formed by cantilevers made of reinforced concrete, a material choice that allowed for the seamless integration of the building with the waterfalls and its surrounding landscape. To provide a solid foundation for the house, the construction team anchored it to the natural rock formations in the area. Wright incorporated large boulders found on the site into the design, both as structural supports and as visual elements that further connected the building with its environment. For instance, a massive boulder serves as a hearth for the fireplace in the main living area and extends through the floor and into the outdoor space, creating a visual and tactile link between the interior and exterior. The construction process also involved the use of locally sourced materials to ensure that the building harmonised with its surroundings. The sandstone walls were made from the nearby quarry and most of the wood used throughout the house was native to the region. This approach not only reduced the environmental impact of the construction, but also helped to create a natural, cohesive appearance. The design of the windows was another innovative aspect of Falling Water's construction. Wright implemented large expanses of glass that visually connected the interior spaces with the outdoors. The windows were cleverly placed to frame the surrounding landscape and the waterfall, making them an integral part of the house's overall aesthetic. Inside the house, there are several living spaces that are both functional and beautiful. The main living area is an open space that serves as a living room, dining room and study. It features large windows that offer breathtaking views of the surrounding forest and the waterfall below. The room is anchored by a massive stone fireplace that incorporates a boulder from the site, further blending the interior with the natural landscape. The house has a total of four bedrooms, each with its own unique design elements and views of the outdoors. The master bedroom, for example, boasts a corner window that creates an unobstructed panorama of the surrounding trees and the stream below. This connection to nature extends even to the bathrooms, with features such as a bathtub nestled into a stone alcove positioned next to a huge picture window that overlooks the forest and waterfall outside. It's like you're taking a bath in nature, surrounded by all its calming and beautiful elements. It's a unique and peaceful experience that makes you feel like you're in a whole different world. Falling Water's kitchen is another notable space designed to be functional yet harmonious with the rest of the house. It is located on the ground floor and connected to the living and dining areas through open archways. The kitchen features custom designed cabinetry made of mahogany, blending in with the house's natural materials and highlighting Wright's intricate geometric patterns. Outside, the house has several terraces that extend from the main living areas and bedrooms, providing additional spaces to relax and enjoy the natural surroundings. These terraces are formed by the cantilever design of the house, creating a sense of floating above the waterfall and the forest below. Apart from the main house, Falling Water also includes a separate guest house, which is connected by a covered walkway. The guest house features additional bedrooms, a living area and a small kitchenette, providing a comfortable and private space for visitors. During the construction of Falling Water, there were some problems that the builders and Frank had to face. One of the main issues was related to the cantilevers, the parts of the house that stick out over the waterfall. These were made of concrete and steel and they needed to be very strong to support the weight of the house. Some of the engineers and builders who were working on the house were worried that the cantilevers might not be strong enough. They thought that if the cantilevers were not made stronger, they could bend or even break, causing parts of the house to collapse. However, Frank believed that his design was good enough and did not need any changes. In the 1990s, about 50 years after the house was built, a big repair project was carried out to make the cantilever stronger. The team working on the repairs used special techniques to add extra steel to them, without changing the way the house looked. This made them much stronger, 
and it helped to make sure that falling water would stay safe and beautiful for many more years to come. Frank Lloyd Wright was famous for his unique and innovative designs. He believed that architecture should be connected to nature and the environment, and his buildings often had a very natural and organic feel to them. His architectural style was different from what was popular at the time, and his ideas have had a big impact on the way people think about architecture and design. One of the main ideas behind his work was organic architecture. This means that he wanted his buildings to look and feel like they were part of the natural world. To achieve this, he used materials like stone and wood that were found in the area where the building was being constructed. He also designed his buildings so that they would blend in with the landscape and not stand out too much. Another important part of his architectural style was his focus on open spaces and natural light. He believed a building should have lots of windows and open areas, so that the people inside could feel connected to the outdoors. This idea can be seen in many of his designs, where large windows and open floor plans help to create a bright and airy atmosphere. He was also known for his attention to detail and craftsmanship. He believed that the small details in a building were just as important as the overall design, and he often spent a lot of time making sure that every part of his project was perfect. This can be seen in the beautiful woodwork, glass and other materials used in his buildings, which add a special touch to his designs. Before we go any further, what do you think about Frank Lloyd's style of architecture? And what do you like the most about the Falling Water House? Let us know in the comment section below. Today, Falling Water is not just a beautiful house, but also a place where people can visit, learn and be inspired by its unique design and history. After Edgar Kaufman Jr. gave the house to Western Pennsylvania Conservancy in 1963, it opened to the public in 1964. Since then, it has become a popular tourist attraction where people can experience the magic of Frank Lloyd Wright's architectural masterpiece. Visitors can take guided tours of the house to see the different rooms, learn about the design features and hear the story of how falling water was built. The tours also help people understand Wright's ideas about organic architecture and how he combined nature and building design to create something truly special. The preservation of falling water has been an ongoing effort ever since the house was opened to the public in 1964. Maintaining and preserving this architectural masterpiece is crucial to ensure that future generations can continue to learn from and appreciate Frank Lloyd's vision. Over the years, several important preservation projects have been undertaken to address the challenges posed by the house's unique design and its integration with the natural environment. One of the most significant preservation projects at Falling Water was the structural reinforcement of the cantilever terraces in the 1990s. As I mentioned earlier, the cantilevers had been sagging due to the insufficient support in the original design. The process involved using post-tensioning techniques to add high-strength steel cables within the concrete slabs. This project not only addressed the immediate structural concerns, but also ensured the long-term stability of the iconic terraces. Apart from the structural preservation, efforts have also been made to protect and restore the various materials used in the house. Over time, the natural materials like wood and stone are susceptible to wear and tear, and they require regular maintenance and restoration. Specialized conversion techniques have been employed to clean, repair and protect these elements, ensuring that the house retains its original beauty and character. Falling Water stands as a testament to Frank Lloyd Wright's innovative spirit and his unwavering belief in the power of organic architecture. As we've explored the history, design and construction of this remarkable house, we've discovered how it continues to captivate and inspire generations of architects, designers and visitors alike. Today, 
Falling Water serves not only as a brilliant example of blending architecture with nature, but also as a reminder of the importance of preserving and celebrating our cultural heritage. As we reach the end of our journey through Falling Water's story, we hope that you've gained a deeper appreciation for this extraordinary house and the genius of Frank Lloyd Wright. Whether you have the opportunity to visit Falling Water in person or simply admire it from the afar, may it inspire you to seek harmony with nature in your own surroundings and to recognize the potential for beauty and innovation in the world around us. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any future content from us. See you next time.